Hey YouTube, uh, this is going to be a video series here. I've got this, uh, it's a 66 foot trailer frame. I've already measured the I-beams on it. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make me a pole barn, like a little shed. But I'm going to use these I-beams for the roof. And I've got some other smaller ones there I use for the sidewall, you know, for the beams going up. But these are going to be my main roofing uh, beams. All right, but what I'm wanting to do with part of it is right up to here is 16 foot, right there where that's at. So I'll take 16 foot off, and then that leaves me 50 foot of trailer left. And I can cut those down into 25 foot sections for a 25 by 20 pole barn. All right, and what I want to do with this portion of it is make a trailer that I can pull behind a vehicle, a little bit tractor, you know. I fear 16 footer should be plenty long enough. And here's a little tongue for it. See, it's already got the tongue, got the ball. The only thing is, I think this is a metric ball because I've looked all over it, cleaned it up, and it says it is a ball or number. Oh, I can't tell. It's so dirty. It ain't got a, a size on there, so I probably end up taking that tongue off, cut it off, and get a new one. You know, either a two and uh, I think it's two and five eighths, or uh, just a two inch ball, maybe. You know, just for this, or two and one sixteenths. You know, something big enough to haul this. Because I'm thinking about building a tandem axle on it. Uh, they've got kits like at your uh, tractor supplies and stuff like that where you can build tr your own trailers. And what I want to do is technically just flip this over because see it's got little runners going across there and I'm going to take, once I cut these all out, I want to use them and add them in over here about a foot apart or so like that. And then when I flip this over, take uh, two by fours or two by sixes or two by tens you know pressure treated boards and lay them all across the top to make a nice strong deck all right and then here on the side when I flip her over I'll cut some notches in the I-beam on one side and I'm going to weld a box a bo piece of box steel so I can slot you know if I want some sides on here I can put sides on it and if I don't want the sides on I can take the sides off you know if I want to haul some logs on it I can haul some logs on it and what I do, I'll just put some steel posts in there and I'll just run some, uh, either put a solid wall on it or, you know, the options are endless with what I can do with this. Of course, I'll cut these all the way off, all the way up to it, where it's even with that frame, all the way around. And I might still go ahead and use these axles. Um, this one here is a drum brake. There's two, there's one on each side, you know, and it's got electric, it's electric, electric brake on these. And those are fairly expensive. I looked them up, but I can't remember what the price is right now, but I can put that in the uh, video. But there's two wires there, two wires over there. Don't know if it work. they work, but I can, you know, I can always hook them up and see. I've got to clean all the dirt off because I drug, it, drug this whole trailer frame over here with my uh, tractor. And these, I might still be able to use those hubs, but I gotta check and see because those may not be road. I mean, they'll be roadworthy because I mean they haul these trailers around, but they got tires that fit on there, and they're not really meant to, you know, drive down the road all the time. Uh, the springs, I doubt that I'm gonna reuse them. I mean, if you look at some of the springs, like that springs all wallered out where it's set on this thing for a while these springs look all right but they're all rusted out so i'll get all new leaf springs and stuff like that from uh, tractor supply all the new hardware and everything like that so i can mount these up right but for i'll do a, a tandem axle take these two sets of axles move them up there it's either it's either to pull a trailer with two axles than it is just one you get a little bit better stability you don't get your swaying and uh jackknife stuff going on but yeah, that's what, uh, this is, uh, part one of a, 
you know, regular trailer build, you know, that I can pull behind the vehicle so I can, you know, haul wood, lumber, stuff like this, you know, make her a 16 footer and then take it in and have her uh, classified and get a uh, license plate put on her. All right, well, that's what we're deciding to do with this little trailer. So, if you have any other ideas, you know, let me know. Because like I like to do is flip this over, take and replace the uh, jack there because it's seized. I mean, it'll turn, but nothing happens. Um, the ball, cut that off, get a new one, and put it on the top side of it. That way those are on top. I mean, granted, yeah, I could use it the way it is, but then I got this little triangle piece here. I'd be losing roughly almost four foot there, so I figured I can, you know, flip her over and use it that way. Because <coughs> these inside are spaced every four foot all the way down it. That way I can have full use of this space, and then in the tongue area, I'll build me a little, uh, spot where I can put tools and stuff in. Put me a little toolbox in there or something. I don't know. But, that is my, uh, my plan for this. So if you have any comments, comment, like, subscribe. I'll talk to you YouTubers later.